The 2020 domestic football season is about to come to a close. But fear not, football lovers, as the international game is about to crack up a notch with the return of the UEFA Nations League. That's right, folks. Back once again with another prediction video. Today, we're taking a look at the Nations League Group C Section 2. And we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new to the channel, smash your subscribe button. Keep your bang up to date with all things Nations League related, Blackburn Rovers related, world football related. We got it all here, boys. Under one roof, that's right, of course, of course, under one roof, boys. Of course, we've been uh, taking a look at each and every one of the nations, uh, the groups and the sections over the past few days. We're into the back stretch now. Uh, um, and today we'll take a look at Group B, so whatever, Group C, Section 2. Getting confused. Of course, I uh, want a big shout out before we get into the meat of the matter to the Patreons for supporting the channel in the way that they do. Um, and uh, yeah, if you guys want to join them, the illustrious dream team, the family of my boys and girls that support the channel, there is a link down below in the old description, patreon.com forward slash overseas you can support the channel in another way and you become besties that's right besties for life and join the, the vip gang so let's get into it of course take a look at the nations that occupy this group uh, i'm here stuck in the middle stuck in the middle with you and i'm joined by north macedonia who are coached by igor angelovsky uh, they play their football at the toshi broski arena their most cap player uh, and captain and top goal scorer is goran pandev he's got himself 108 games 34 goals they're currently ranked 68th in the world. Highest rank is 46 back in 2008. They are lowest rank or lowest point in football was 166th in 2017. But those days are gone, boys. Those days are gone. They are joined by Estonia, uh, who play their football at the A. Lecoq Arena. They're currently managed by Karol Vulaid. It's like Kool-Aid, but Vulaid. Uh, captain by Ragnar Klavan. Was he former Liverpool man, I think? Uh, most cap player was a goalkeeper. Was it goalkeeper Martin Reim? 157 games. Uh, top goal scorer, uh, Andres Upa with 38 goals. Currently ranked 104th in the world. Their highest rank was 47th in 2012. Their lowest point in football was 137th. 2008, that was. And they are joined by Armenia. Currently coached by Joaquin Kapararos. They play their football at the Vasquin Sarsian Republican Stadium. Their captain and top goal scorer is Henrik Mkhitaryan. Currently at Arsenal slash Roma, depending on where you look. Uh, he's also got 29 goals to his name, which is the highest. First country, look, cracking logo. Uh, their most kept players, Sajis Hovzespan, 132 games for his country. Currently ranked 102 in the world. Highest rank is 30th in 2014. Lowest point is 159 in 1994. Probably when they were, they broke off from another country uh, way back when. And of course, they're joined by Georgia. Not the country. No, it is the country, not the state. They're currently coached by Vladimir Weiss. It's a name that rings the bell. Uh, uh, I'm saying former Man City player, but I don't know. I can't really remember. Uh, they play their football at the Boris Pashadadze Dynamo Arena. They're captain by Java Kakavadza. Uh, the most capped player is Lavan Kobiashvili. He's got 100 caps. Their top goal scorer is former Ajax man Shota Aviladze with 26 goals. Currently ranked 91st in the world. Highest rank is 42nd uh, back in 1998. Their lowest, 159th back in 1994. Just like Armenia breaking off from the from uh, from the Russia, I, I assume, on this one. Uh, but yeah, that's the groups uh, on the nations of the group. Let's take a look at the games then, shall we? Okay then, folks. Here we go. Take a look at the uh, the games here that take up uh, Group C, Section Two. Uh, we're going to go through these quick, draw McGraw, and go plow through all of them, uh, just to kind of get a general feel of the group and who we, I think will ultimately get promoted from this group and also get relocated to where not where the nations go to die, but where the nations are just. Pulling their hair out. They don't want to be playing football against the likes of the Pharaohs. Like, well, maybe they do. Maybe they do, actually. Maybe they want to put six past them. Um, but they'll be playing along the minnows. They'll be playing uh, really shoddy teams, baker's dozens and, and candlestick makers and all that kind of stuff. Uh, the amateurs. They'll be playing amateurs. So they don't want to go down any further. This is this is where the scrappiness happens. Um, so they want to get themselves promoted to the B, which is, you know, acceptable level. Uh, and then, yeah. Beyond. Um, so who is the cream of the crop out of this bad boy? The cream will always rise to the top. Let's take a look at it then. Uh, we're going to start with these games do take place on the 5th of September. We're going to open it up with Macedonia against Armenia. And it'll be a 2-1 win for Macedonia. I, I fancy the chances in this group. Uh, but Armenia aren't no slouches either. This could be a, this could be a, a tricky old group. They're all Eastern European, Eastern Bloc countries. Uh, very similar. And you can see either one go up and either one go down. But uh, we're going to have a quick look at the, the overall standings here. There is a clear divide as to who is cream of the crop in my eyes and who is 
the shit uh, and it will be going relegated next season uh, or the end of this 2-1 win though for Macedonia on opening day Estonia will take on Georgia and that'll be all square nil-nil in the end uh, and you probably think a, p a positive point for Georgia uh, kicking the bollocks for Estonia next up into the uh, 8th of September it'll be Georgia against North Macedonia it'll be a 1-0 win for North Macedonia back-to-back -back wins for them uh, as they start the campaign in tremendous form meanwhile Armenia will take on Estonia on the same match day uh, and that'll be a 2-1 win for Armenia Mkhitaryan and co get themselves uh, their first win in the campaign and also so second in command, it looks like, as Georgia and Estonia are yet to get a win. Uh, next up, Armenia against Georgia as well over in Armenia. And it'll be back-to-back -back wins for Armenia. This will be on the 11th of October. Uh, so two wins on the spin for them. Uh, and, of course, an unbeaten home campaign to boot. Estonia will take on North Macedonia. And they will also lose again. Uh, when I say lose again... Back-to-back -back defeats for Estonia. North Macedonia, uh, three wins on the spin. So they're looking comfortable at the halfway mark. So, so far, so good for Macedonia and Armenia. I think they're both in the discussion for top honours. Uh, meanwhile, Estonia and Georgia are scrambling for points as it stands. Next up into the 14th of October, North Macedonia are lock horns against Georgia in Macedonia. And it'll be four wins on the bounce uh, for, more, for Macedonia. It'll be three uh, clean sheets on the bounce as well for Macedonia as well as they uh, look to uh, nail on. Nail on top honours on this one. Estonia will take, take on Armenia and it'll be another win for Armenia as well also on the 14th of October so Estonia and Georgia scrambling at the moment uh, without a win between them uh, meanwhile Armenia and Macedonia are looking too good uh, for this division and too good for these guys these these Mickey Mouse nations no disrespect uh, to them um, anyway it's the final uh, penultimate match day uh, final match final home day for Macedonia they will take on Estonia and it'll be a flawless victory and another clean sheet to boot 3-0 uh, win for Macedonia over Estonia to put them in the driving seat uh, Georgia will take on Armenia as well and that will be a 2-1 win for Armenia on the 15th of November to set up a bit of a crunch clash for top honours and uh, of course relegation fodder um, in fact it could go either way could go either way when I look at this Armenia taking on North Macedonia it'll end 2 one in favour of Armenia on the 18th of 11th, the first defeat from uh, Macedonia. Uh, of course, they did lock horns in the first match day of this, and it went to Macedonia. So it could go on goal difference on this one. We'll have a look at it in just a second. Georgia will take an Estonia, of course, for the wooden spoon. It'll be nil-nil, just like it was at the start of the at the start of the campaign as well. So realistically, you're looking at two teams, uh, North Macedonia and Armenia, locking horns for top honours, and two teams battling to avoid the drop to that football disgustingness that is. Group D. You don't want to go there, boys. You don't want to go there. But who will go there? Well, in my eyes, I'm thinking it's going to be Estonia. Goodness gracious me. Two draws, four defeats, negative seven goal difference, two points on the board. However, uh, Georgia are just on the same amount with two points as well, two draws, with a negative five goal difference. So they just oust them on goal scored. So, in fact, they actually score a goal. Georgia, they scored one goal this whole campaign. Estonia scored one goal as well. So it's, it's goals conceded. Probably going to hurt you the most there. And who will come out top honours between uh, Armenia and North Macedonia? Well, I've got North Macedonia in second. Five wins, one defeat, 15 points on the board, six goal difference. And top honours will be Armenia. Same points tally, same result. Uh, in fact, it's airtight. It's goal difference. It's six apiece. It's probably going to go down to goal scored or maybe even results against each other. I don't know. It's that. It's very difficult. And to be honest with you, you'd have to probably have a toss of a coin there. But in my eyes, it's Armenia that comes out on top. It is goal scored. They've got 11 compared to Macedonia's 9. So that's the situation there. And that's the situation that I think will happen in Group C, Section 2. Do you agree or disagree? Will Mkhitaryan's boys oust the likes of Macedonia, Jovic and his gang? Or will the Georgia and Estonia be better than I predicted? I, to be honest with you, I don't think so. I think it's going to be along those lines. Um, but uh, hey, I'm no, I'm no master of Armenia or not Macedonia or any Eastern Bloc country. It's just my initial vibe from this group. We'll take a look at it, of course, match day by match day as the games come around. Probably have the first match day video around about the 26th, 27th of August, something like that. So make sure you check around for that bad boy. And the best way to keep in touch with, of course, is to bang the old subscribe button, of course. Uh, of course, hit the little bell so you don't miss a beat, boys and girls. And while you're at it, make sure you give this video a bit of a love with a thumbs up. If you do that, it's more visible, more visible to you. It'll be uh, like a, on your hotly recommended stuff by the old YouTube. So make sure you check that out, of course. And also, while you're at it, you know, have a look around the channel. We've done all the other groups as well. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to take a look at Nations League Group C, Section 3, uh, which also includes some... Sh uh, look at this. This is what we're talking about at this level. Greece, former Euro winners are at this level. They shouldn't be at this level. They should be at least Group B. Uh, and also, Slovenia don't think that it, it, it deserves to be at this level. Neither do Kosovo. Kosovo are on the rise. Uh, I think uh, they'll be looking to get themselves out of this level at the first time of asking. That's tomorrow. Of course, give this video some love in the, in the, in the first instance. 
months. And of course, we'll do it all again then. Check out the old previous ones if you missed a beat. Until then, though, give, get short, make sure you get your predictions in. 4321, who do you think is going to be top on us? And of course, check out the description links to my other social media platforms are in there Twitter, Facebook, and of course, Patreon if you want to support the channel in another way. That's the way to do it. I'm out of here. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope.